Welcome everyone to this video. Today we will be comparing AVG to Avast in a head-to-head -head antivirus test and we are using the free edition for both tests with default settings and the exact same malware samples. The reason we are comparing these two is because Avast owns AVG and we want to see if there's a difference in protection and or detection. At first glance these two solutions look a little bit different but once you start to dive down into the menus and options they have mostly the same features. Some settings are named differently between the two and certain options are located in different menus. One specific difference between the premium versions of each is Avast Premium appears to include a sandbox feature whereas the premium version of AVG does not. And if I made a mistake here someone chime in but best I can tell the premium version of AVG again does not have that sandbox solution and so that may be something you want to keep in mind if you're looking at either of these as a solution. For testing we started with AVG and we made sure it was up to date with the most recent definitions and the most recent app version. We then started with 509 samples of malware. I initiated a full system scan and when it was completed removed all the detected results. After that I initiated a direct folder scan and I did this a few times just to give it multiple chances to detect any samples. And when that was all said and done there were 11 samples remaining. I then proceeded to execute the remaining samples. I did notice after executing the ask.exe sample, AVG popped up saying it was suspicious, but then after analyzing it, AVG flagged it as safe and didn't remove it. Keep this in mind for later. After all 11 samples were executed, I restarted the computer and all 11 samples remained. I then proceeded to run second opinion scans, the first one being Malwarebytes, which detected nine results, and then MZSoft, which came back clean, no results detected. There were three samples left in the samples folder. If you do the math there, that doesn't add up, so Malwarebytes may have failed to quarantine one of those. But I did take those remaining three samples and uploaded them to Virus Total, and all three were flagged by at least three or more solutions and flagged them as malware. So moving on to Avast, when comparing these results to that solution, the results were basically the same. Same procedure, made sure it was up to date, ran a full system scan, followed by scanning the samples folder directly, and then after completion, I was left with the exact same 11 samples that AVG missed, so no difference there. Though I did notice this time when executing the ask.exe sample, Avast didn't take any extra time to analyze it like AVG did. Nothing popped up saying it was suspicious, so a little bit of a difference there. After execution, the same result as AVG, it did not detect the 11 remaining samples. And so in this specific antivirus test, basically the results were identical between AVG and Avast. If you would like to see more videos like this where we compare two antivirus solutions to see what the differences are, or if you'd like to see uncut footage or limited edited footage of antivirus testing from this channel, go ahead and hit that join button to become a gold member. Those will be member only videos. Though please be aware that the typical antivirus testing videos that we've been doing will remain on the channel for all YouTube viewers. That's everything for this video, but if you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, the thanks button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.